Hey guys, it's Kazaha. Welcome back to my channel. So, I have an interesting topic today. Today's topic is words related to franchise restaurants from the States. Why I wanted to talk about this topic? Let's go back to more than 10 years ago. So, when I didn't speak English at all, I was walking outside with my friend in Tokyo. And then I think he was American, I don't, I'm not sure though, but he spoke English. And then he asked us, Where is the McDonald's? I didn't understand at all. What is McDonald's? So, McDonald's in Japanese is totally different pronunciation. So, there are a lot of franchise restaurants in Japan from the States, but we pronounce totally different. So that's why I wanted to make this video, especially people who want to travel to Japan because you need to eat there, right? So of course you want to try something Japanese food like sushi, tempura, udon, whatever. But sometimes you want to eat something familiar like McDonald's, KFC, right? So let's figure it out together. First of all, let's talk about fast food. So let me explain how to use my videos. So you can practice reading, speaking, and listening at the same time. How? So first of all, I put the words, I show the words for a few seconds before I pronounce. So you can practice reading katakana, and then I pronounce the word, and you can listen. And then after I say the word, you can copy the word, the sound, of, copy the sound, and speak the three things at the same time. Good. All right, so let's talk about it. Ichiban. It's a little difficult one. Shake shack. Shake shack. Shake shack. So when the shake shack came to Japan, I went there. It was Tokyo. And actually, I waited for one hour and a half to get only one burger. Japanese people really, really love stuff from the States. So, anyway, tsugi, niban. Pizza hat. Pizza hat. Pizza hat. Pizza hat. Tsugi. Domino pizza. Domino pizza. Domino pizza. My favorite one. Cold stone. Cold stone. Cold stone. Tsugi. You cannot guess what it is. Thirty-one ice cream. Thirty-one ice cream. Thirty-one ice cream. What is thirty-one ice cream? This is Baskin Robbins. We don't say Baskin Robbins. Thirty-one ice cream. So just be careful. Even if you ask, oh, where is that uh, Baskin Robbins? People don't understand what you're talking about. Okay. Tsugi. Uh, Crispy cream. Crispy cream. Crispy cream. Subway. 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 Tsugi. Macdonaldo. 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 So different, right? So even if you say McDonald, people don't understand. Macdonaldo. Okay. And actually, in Tokyo area, we say Mac. 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 Wait, you could also say Macdonaldo. But we omit word. McDonald's. Mac. And Osaka, Kyoto area people, they say Makudo. 
マクドマクド Interesting So I'm from one Tokyo area So I say マクドはマクドナルド Information There are some burgers in a seasonal menu that you can try only in Japan And my favorite one is テリヤキバーガー Wow, teriyaki? Yes, it's so delicious. You must try it when you come to Japan. Bing. Kentucky. 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 So we don't say KFC. So even if you say KFC to Japanese people, people don't understand. You have to say Kentucky. Okay? So, a lot of my friends and also students ask me, Hey, do really people in Japan eat KFC for Christmas? Yes, actually, yes. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Maybe from because of k w a n s h a o but now so popular to eat KFC for Christmas party or Christmas season. So, you have to order in advance. You can't get a you know, KFC just to go. The, the walking, and you cannot buy. So, you have to make a reservation for getting the chickens. <laughs> It's interesting, right? Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. So, when Taco Bell came to Japan, maybe four or five years ago, it was a big line, it was big news. Japanese people. Yeah. So, anyway, Tsugi.、Mm. Seven Eleven. Seven Eleven. Seven Eleven. Seven Eleven is very, very popular for Japanese. So, but you should go to Seven Eleven in Japan. It's totally different from. American 7 Eleven, so Japanese 7 Eleven is better, I think. 7 Eleven, いい気分 This is a comacho. Okay, 次 Burger King. Burger King. Burger King. 次 Starbucks. 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 So, if you really want to say like very Japanese way, Staba. 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 Japanese people really love omit the word. So, but if you say Staba, sounds so native. Alright. So, oh, if you haven't watched. My video How to Order Stuff and Starbucks Coffee? Please watch it. It's interesting. All right, so let's move on to restaurants from the States. Okay. Ichiban. Denny's. 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 TGI Fridays TGI Fridays TGI Fridays 次 Shizura 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 I used to go there a lot when I was in Japan Okay, 次 Hard Rock Cafe Hard Rock Cafe Hard Rock Cafe 次 Red Lobster Red レッドロブスター。レッドロブスター。レッ
the last one. Hootazu. Well, it's a very different pronunciation, right? Hootazu. Hootazu. I always, always wanted to go so Is there anybody who can go with me? Maybe either in Japan or the States. So, how was today's lesson? It was very interesting to know, right? It's totally different pronunciation between English and Japanese. So, if you're planning to go to Japan, maybe not something soon though, but this year or next year or something in the future, you can practice those words and then you can use them in Japan. Okay? So, thank you so much for watching my video and I, I hope I can see you guys soon. So, I'm gonna be busy. Bye. Bye bye! Oh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel!